Hello everybody, this is a view from, oops, I get my finger out of it. This is a view from the organ chamber. As you're looking towards the chancel, the majority of the organ is going to be in the chamber on the left side, which contains easily three-fourths of this pipe organ. And it's laid out on three levels. We're up on the top level, and I'm looking into the east transept right now through the openings. Uh, I'm standing on top of what are uh, the tow boards of wind chests and eventually uh, rack boards and then pipes are going to go on here. And here's looking through the opening down into the chancel. You'll recognize that view. And we're almost ready for pipes to start being planted on these chests. A few of the big offset pipes are already here because they have to go up while there's room to get them up. So you can see uh, that these are uh, eight foot metal bases off to the side here. And then through this little doorway is John Muller, who is the fourth generation of Mullers in the pipe organ business. And uh, he and his son Jack, Jack is the fifth generation. Uh, have been at this for uh, for quite a while now and bring a lot of expertise. They've gotten a tremendous amount done, as you can see, in uh, basically, what, eight, ten, ten days of work, something like that now. This is a lot of heavy lifting that's been done here. So through this doorway is the swell division, and that's one of the... Uh, hearts of the pipe organ and has a lot of uh, uh, dynamic variety to it from very loud to very soft and it's enclosed. There are these, uh, they're called swell shades and they open and close just like Venetian blinds on a window and make the sound louder and softer accordingly. So you can see John is uh, doing those manually right now. Eventually there's a little uh, uh, electric uh, gizmo motor that uh, will open and close them. So there'll be lots of pipes here where our uh, feet and these uh, drop cloths are right now. And then there's another uh, doorway here and through this door is what is called the solo division because it has a lot of the most distinctive solo voices in the organ. And this organ will have some incredibly uh, beautiful and notable solo voices. A uh, tuba, a French horn, a flugelhorn, a clarinet, some very beautiful string tone stops. And you can see along the back row, of uh, back wall here, is uh, the, what will be, it's the pedal 16 foot reed, which is great big wooden pipes, the longest of which over here is about 16 feet long. And they will, when they play, you'll know it. So those are quite impressive and again had to be installed early before everything else. Uh, the installation order for uh, big components like this is super important as you would guess because things will only fit when and where they fit. So there was a lot of planning that had to be done in uh, this whole process. So I'll knock off and then go downstairs.